Hello, my name is Jesus Medina, and I'm the creator of KO Method, which is a holistic approach to fitness and self defense training. I'm also the owner of Seabreeze Fitness, which is located in Costa Mesa, California, which is right now recording this. Today, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you guys, uh, with a few of my students, uh, some sort work that you can do uh, in order to position yourself around a both orthodox or southpaw fighter, both you being an orthodox or a southpaw fighter. All right, so basically I'm going to demonstrate for, for both fighters how to deal with both fighters as far as footwork to position yourself for one to uh, uh, irritate your opponent from the, the angles that you'll be using with that footwork um, because of the positioning you're going to be using, uh, how you're going to be dictating the range, uh, controlling the distance with that uh, um, footwork uh, and also, so also positioning yourself for you know, a good shot to either knock out or whatever the case may be. Um, let's see. So today I want to show off that I have my new samurai gear. Here I got my samurai shoes, my samurai shield. No, I'm just kidding. It's a protective gear, obviously. All right. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with Warrior Steven here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get started with demonstrating how to do the footwork, how to drill it um, to position yourself against both an orthodox and southpaw fighter. First, first we're going to start with the uh, orthodox fighter dealing with both orthodox or southpaw. Alright, we'll start with the orthodox, orthodox. Alright, so anyhow, so hey, uh, this one is going to be, the footwork is going to be um, um, borrowed from, the best way I can put it is, uh, Mike Tyson. He's the one that does those angles where he was a little square off and he'll side hops to the side so that he can hit. So he'll be right here and he'll side hop to the side, hit right there, all right? Um, and you can use that style for both southpaw and orthodox against southpaw or orthodox. All right, so here we go. So, first you're gonna do, all right, so I'm standing in my guard, you're standing in your guard. Um, so what you're gonna do right now is, you already know this one, we'll start with the simple one, is the one where you kinda, uh, you do both footing. So you're not just gonna go one, two, you're gonna do both, yeah. So you're gonna, so you're gonna end up all the way on my side, basically, almost 45 degrees angle, if not 90 percent, especially. I mean, 90 degree, especially after I throw a straight, a straight right, or overhand right. All right, again, straight. There you go. So you wanna, you, uh, you're actually just going in a straight line. You wanna just uh, throw yourself, in, yeah, in a pivot, exactly. Um, dip as you're throwing yourself in the pivot. So dip. And then you're right there, ready to go. All right, so here we go. All right, so, but see, you want to be over here though, because now you're, you're knowing your range. Even though you can lunge in, is you still knowing your range? So those saying is that now Spartan spar shove in, and you, you should end up over here. Your your foot should be over here, your front foot. All right, so it's almost there. All right, so you get in the in the, south, in the, in the stance. All right, go ahead. Right here, bam. So see how much more on the side. So see how I did first. First I, 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 I dip, and then I went over, I forgot to tell you that the, the first step was to set up, yeah. And it was just a jump. Yeah, so it's, it's one step, boom, and exactly, yeah. All right, so we'll show you guys from the front, all right, for, well, the back of him, all right, that way you can mirror him if you're an orthodox, all right, so go ahead and step, boom, and now he's on the side, all right. If uh, facing you, so go ahead and pass. So he's way over here, way to my right. He's way almost out of my full, full peripheral right there. All right, so now we're gonna show you how, how we'll actually do that one a few more times. So again, get back in the front so they can mirror you. So if you're an orthodox, you can just mirror him right now. All right, so real slow. So first is the step to, to uh, create a little bit of distance. So step to the right and a little bit towards me. Cause that's what's gonna make me either flinch or you know, kind of hold that punch back. Um, Cause I don't wanna hit his shoulder. Uh, if I hit that shoulder, it's going to stub my shoulder, and I can injure not only my shoulder, but dislocate my shoulder, but also break my fingers, right? So right there, all he's going to do right there is a double skip to the side, all right? So he's going to shift his weight over, shoulder back to position of power, and then skip at the same time. Skip over, boom. So now, uh, I know you can't see it from that angle, but he's actually in good stance. Both of, the, both of his feet, uh, feet are pointing towards me the proper way, all right? And then right there, what he would do, he can either uh, finish with the straight, boom, to the chin, all right, straight to the stomach, boom, all right, or uh, uh, he can go um, either jab, straight, hook, all to the same side, all right, so jab, straight, hook, exactly, all right, either way, all right, um, 
The one I recommend the most so that you can distract the hell of your opponent. All right, first is to jab to the to the body, jab, and, and that doesn't have to be a hard one. That will get my attention down here. Bam! All right, that's the main one. You always want to hit them in the chin if you can. Uh, if not, you're gonna make that head somehow rumble. You know, make it jerk around so that it can mess your opponent's uh, equilibrium. All right, so now we're gonna go full speed. <clears throat> All right. Just like that. All right, one more time. Again, watch, make sure how he sets up first by just sidestepping. That's gonna uh, make him evade the punch, slip the punch, and that's gonna add the momentum, the kinetic energy he needs. Uh, so, uh, somewhat of a, let's see, centrifugal, because you're going, oh yeah, centrifugal force. Because yeah, even though he's hopping with both feet after that first step, he's technically throwing that right foot further back out to make him pivot. But at the same time, instead of just pivoting on that foot, He's actually throwing himself over, all right? <clears throat> Let's see, so we're seven, so, all right, so this time, uh, again, just stop right there, and you'll see that <clears throat> where I'm at, I'm just gonna step back, and he'll be perfect line to shoot down my target, any target that he sees. All right, go ahead, boom, boom, all right, so stay there. So see right there, he was pointing anywhere, he can shoot with any shot right here, all right, any shot he wants, because I was right here. All right, so and then he's out of my uh, out of my peripherals for the most part, almost. All right, so right there, I can block, but he can he can take advantage of me right here easily. He can step into me. Do I step into me? Do the Spartan shove, all right? Because he's pushing me. Uh, let's do it from here so he can end up sideways. All right, boom, boom. All right, so right here, Spartan shove in, boom, and then right there, hit me. All right, he shift me. All right, I had to fix my footing right there, or else I was gonna land crooked. Uh, out of position, right? I don't know if you guys noticed, I instinctively, when he hit me, I went this way. All right? The reason why I did that instinctively all right, is because now I can get range easily. All right? Most people won't even do that. Most people will block first, step away, and then try to position again. That's too many motions, right? Anyhow, so let's do a uh, south ball. Actually, no, still, still, still uh, right handed. Uh, now it's, it's going to be a little awkward for you because now you're going to go, um, you're going to throw your, your right foot exactly completely over. All right, so that's it. in case they throw, it's a orthodox and they're going to throw a hook on you, all right? Straight hook or uh, something like that, all right? So here we go, straight hook. All right, now he's way behind me. All right, if it's only the hook, no, first dip under, like that, and then, exactly. Alright, did that miss you up? Did that feel weird? That, that momentum? So find a way to. Yeah, no, that should be fine. Alright, maybe do use a probe jab or something or a probe straight. Alright? Exactly. And see, even if I'm blocked, if, even if I block this way, alright, I still got some openings. I got some openings down here. And he's gonna fire one, two, three shots easily. Alright, that, that freaking, uh, he can do the, the, uh, the. Uh, Wing Chun, Peter Patter, boom, 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 and then come over with the they making two, whatever the case may be. All right, so once again, let's show it on this side. All right, so on this one, you don't add that extra step. All right, what it's gonna be is the momentum that's gonna gather, it's gonna make you evade the shot and get a little bit of distance as you're gathering momentum is that sway. So he's gonna sway over, boom. All right, um, do you feel like? Uh, Actually, try to step over with your right as you're swaying over, and then skip over one more time uh, uh, with your right. So, um, so let's see. So if the hook is coming, bring the hook, bring the hook over, boom, and then come over at, with the punch. All right. So the first, go ahead, boom. Um, exactly, and then uh, yeah, but come over with the punch as you're as you're hopping over. So you're gonna uh, step over. Boom, exactly, and then hop, exactly, like that. You're going to use that momentum, all right? Again, from this side, all right, so boom, bam, you almost had it. Yeah. 